let's welcome Jim Knox into the show, Jim. All right, thanks, boss. What a night it was for Eric Nadell, longtime voice of the Texas Rangers. 34 years inducted into the Texas Rangers Hall of Fame tonight. How special was it to talk about this evening? It's been incredible. You know, I asked Tom Grieve what it was going to be like, and he used the word exhilarating. Tag, you were exactly right. It was exhilarating to see all those players introduced on the field and have all the memories come up of those players and then to think that, you know, I'm included in a group with some of those guys. is It's just amazing. I mean, it really is a miracle to me. 34 years, as I said, announcing Rangers baseball. Any one moment stand out besides tonight? Well, the night that Neftali Feliz struck out A-Rod to clinch the pennant in 2010 is way above all of the others. The emotion that erupted from the ballpark uh, after that final out to get the Rangers to the World Series is something I'll never forget. It, it was one of the two or three most emotional moments of my life and certainly the most emotional in broadcast. What is it like not doing the game right now? It's really weird, I'll tell you. <laughs> you know, I haven't missed many games in 34 years. I missed some with eye surgery a couple of years ago. I was on the couch watching and, and listening, but to be in the stadium watching the game and not doing it, that hasn't happened since 1979, my first year of broadcasting, when I only did TV and we only televised road games. There weren't any home games broadcast. Right. So many special players along the way here in 34 years of, of announcing Rangers baseball. Which one have you enjoyed covering the most? Well, no one was really special. Every night he pitched, you knew something incredible might happen. You know, it might be a no-hitter uh, anytime he went to the mound. So the anticipation was, was fantastic. But when I started in 79, Buddy Bell was the most fun watching. The way he played third base, you know, kind of set the standard for everybody else. And then the, of the hitters, you know, Ruben Sierra when he first came up, Hamilton now, and I always had a special fondness for Julio Franco, the way he could wield this gigantic bat and hit the best pitchers at the clutch moments. Eric, congratulations. And his Thank family you. and friends on hand. We'll let him enjoy a little bit of time with that. Then I understand you go back to the broadcast booth yeah, later. I'm just taking a couple innings off. There I'll, we go. Only a couple innings. Congratulations. Buzz? <laughs> All right, Jim.